Welcome back, Matterhorn family, to our third building challenge. Today, we're going to be adding to our mini playground. This is probably my favorite, but most challenging part of our playground, a swing. I already put a lady in there, and if you push on it, just like in real life, she moves back and forth. Oh, so cute. Um, to make the swing, you need two big cups. So like the plastic or the paper ones that we talked about before, a little cup, that's her seat a straw, and two toilet paper rolls, and then scissors and tape, as always. Um, I'm gonna start first by making the base. So this is actually like in two pieces. This can come off, and this is the strong support that it needs to stand up so it doesn't fall over. All right, so first, to make that, it's really simple. You take the two cups and you sit them there. You're going to just take a toilet paper roll and cut it in half. So what I like to do with that is I just like to flatten it a little bit so it's easier to cut and then snip. Just like that. Um, now the straw is gonna need to sit in it like a little groove. So I just make a tiny little uh, square for that to come out. Just like that, just so the straw can fit. And then I do it on the other one too. Bend it back so I can just snip it off. Um, now you want to just make sure that they stay on and they don't fall off, so I just tape them together. So I push the toilet paper roll all the way to the back so it's lined up with the cup, and just put a big strip of tape right down the back like that. I'm going to do that again to the other side. Push it all the way to the back, align the tape on the top, press it all the way down, and then I have extra tape because I made it too long, so I just flip it underneath. And then just to be sure, I'm gonna take another piece of tape and go around the sides of it to make sure that stays attached. And then the other one. That's it, that's our base. So this, the cups are really nice because they're sturdy anyway, so you don't have to do much for them to stay up and they're stable. Um, so then our straw would just sit like that. So now, we have to make the cup, the seat for our little friend. And that is the, the more challenging part. Again, ask any adult or older sibling if they're around to help you. Um, so I, I don't want her to fall out. So I like to, when I'm cutting it, I actually leave a lot of, a lot of cups still in. So I wanna cut out just a section so that she can comfortably go in and out of this imaginary swing, but so she won't fall out because when you swing it, if you swing it too hard, I was doing it earlier, she fell out a bunch of times and that's not safe. So we don't wanna do that. So I cut the front out and then I'm just gonna cut a little bit off the top so it looks like a real swing and that she can fit in. Well, let's test it, does she fit? Good, it's a good size. It's enough that'll keep her in so she won't fall out. Um, and then to make the sides of the swing, what we need to do, I just have the old toilet paper rolls from last week's project lying around, so I just need to cut a strip of this. And that will be the two sides of the seat for our friend. Um, once I take them, I just like to measure that they're the same size, that one might be a little bit longer than the other, so I just cut to make sure that they are the same size. All right, and then while you have them like this, it's best to bend them now. So I bend them so that the it can be taped, I don't know if you could see that, taped to the toilet paper roll. Cause this needs to be attached to the toilet paper roll so it can swing, um, so it needs to be bent. So I bend it beforehand. So I bend it now just to make sure it's even. So just like that. And that's gonna be where we tape it on top. Um, so I have my toilet paper roll. And I'm just going to do that actually first. Put it down like that and get a small piece of tape. That's too big. I'm gonna get a small piece of tape and attach it right to the side of the toilet paper roll. One side. And then I'm gonna do that to the other side too. So that's the beginning step. 
So now we have the beginning step of our seat, and now we need to just attach the chair to the sides of the swing. Again, that's just gonna be a piece of tape. So I'm gonna, it's hard to do with just two hands, so you might wanna have an adult or a family member help you and hold it, but I'll see what I can do. I'm gonna try my best. Um, it might come out a little wobbly for me because I'm doing this by myself, but please, if you need help, ask for help. So I'm just gonna hold it onto the seat, her little cup seat, and I'm gonna tape it down. And then I'm gonna go onto the other side and let's see, make sure that's even. And I'm gonna tape it down again on this side. And that's our little basket for her, our little beginning of our swing. So now the straw comes into play because you see how we, I dropped her. Okay, so the part with the straw is super easy. You just need to put it through the toilet paper roll. So that way we can swing her back and forth. Um, and then it just sits on the little cutouts that we did in the stable base. And that's it. And then you can put her in gently and give her a little swing back and forth. And she actually can move. Sweet, right? So this is getting added to our swing set. So now we have a seesaw from last week. We have two slides, a high and a low. And now we have a swing set. I hope you enjoyed our building project today and I will see you guys again next week. Bye guys.